My value of morality, since the conditions of an action can only be judged through the concept of morality, my value will be a prerequisite to every other value because the only correct way to determine if one side is better than the other has to come from the outcome of the action. It is necessary in this debate round for us to compare the end results. Thus, the purpose of the debate is to compare the impacts of distributing rights to animals. Even though the resolution asks for the right of animals in order to define if providing rights is a good thing or not, we must look at the end result for humans. Thus, if I prevent uh, harm done in the world, thus if I prevent harm done in the world, and if my opponent promotes harm in the world, then you can negate. Uh, therefore, if providing rights to animals bring any kind of negative impacts in the human world, you must negate. The AC has to prove how, my, how not animal experiments outweigh the benefits of animal experiments. Shanks writes, if a defense of animal experimentation is to be plausible, supporters must demonstrate that the in increase in benefits of animal experimentation relative to non-animal research programs clearly outweighs its cost, including the moral cost, of course, experimenters claim, in fact, virtually every advance in medical science in the 20th century, from antibiotics, vaccines, and to antidepressant drugs, can, or, and organ transplant has been achieved either directly or through the use of animal experiments. The results of these advances are significant. A longer lifespan has been achieved, decreased infant mortality has occurred, effective treatments have been developed for many diseases, and a quality of life has been enhanced for mankind in general. Experiments on animals saved many millions of lives. Today, we would have never been born or we have never been dead. The agency believes that animals are being used as experiments for human benefits. Shane Lee wrote, "Experiments on animals have helped us develop vaccines for many diseases like herpes simplex, hepatitis B, polio, rabies, malaria, mumps, and virus-related organ transplantation rejection. Animal testing has also helped in the re-empowerment of procedures relating related to measurement, measuring of blood pressure, tasting technology, and the perfection of the heart of some diseases. Anesthesia was used to pain after it was successfully tested on animals first." Human beings are not the only living creatures that have been benefited from animal testing, but the research in animals helped in saving the lives of many dogs also. These are linked. The AC mandates that all people stop animal experimentation. Since the AC gives animals rights, this means that we cannot hurt them or kill them for our own purposes. If that is true, then the AC is also stopping animal experiments because we cannot do anything anything to them to promote our own business. This is a clear AC advocacy, and if the AC doesn't agree to this, they are not affirming. Uh, sees the internal link outlying animal experiments will not solve AIDS at all. Shandila too writes, finding a cure and a vaccine for AIDS has become the most important goal of the medical research industry. The animal models for AIDS are a very important part of the research as it helps in understanding the biology of immune deficiency viruses. The fact of that remains is that to make the advances in the fields of medicine, animal testing is a must. Restraining or banning the testing of animal activists will not help in any way. If any, if, if, if animal testing was outlawed and there will be very little scope of obtaining information that will be very necessary to eliminate suffering and premature death in both humans and animals. D is the impact AIDS is a si uh, serious problem. Finley writes, AIDS is the greatest challenge of our generation. The dreaded infectious disease has claimed over the lives of 25 million people worldwide and infected 40 million more. In the United States, 1.2 million are infected with HIV virus and more than 500,000 have died. No virus has been well studied or understood as a human deficiency of virus, yet we are far from controlling this pandemic. Continuous animal research uh, experiments are key to many lives. Murray writes, AIDS patients underwent an experimental treatment that involved injecting bone marrow cells from a baboon into the body to bolster its immune system. Baboons are immune to AIDS, AIDS virus. The loss of the donor baboon was tolerable because the scientists and doctors should use all methods at hand when combating deadly human diseases like the many other treatments and medicines that have been contributed to improve human health. The cure for AIDS will undoubtedly come through the animal experimentation. I go on to this case. Okay, first of all, his value is justice, and my value is morality. I'm not going to argue about which one, which one is better because they basically clash with one uh, reason why we need them. It's to help people out, so there will be no debate on this value. It's like basically the same thing. We just have to provide the best good for the best for the bigger number of people. Since there are both value parents, and we might be suffering in an under useful checklist, as long as we save more people and uh, prevent harm, then I'm going to get Okay, go on to this argument about suffering and uh, like animal suffering as well as humans. I have seven reasons why that is wrong. First of all, there is no chosen measurement of what pain is. For example, a pain of an individual and a pain of an animal might be completely different because we are naturally different. In case of an elephant and a person, if you smash a stick into the elephant's leg, the elephant will not feel anything due to its big size. However, if you smash a stick onto humans, like, it will cause severe damage. Thus, even though animals might feel pain, since there are different feelings of pain and different measurements of pain, just because an animal feels pain, it's not a reason to give them rights. Second of all, if it is true that animals feel pain, and even if we hypothetically agree to this, that animals have rights, that doesn't necessarily mean that we are violating their rights. 
This that means my opponent is arguing. Even, even if I step on like one small insect, that means that like I, I, it is impossible to count on every single action that is done that we take on animals. So we're, our lives will be very limited. Because if I step on an ant, then I'm like something bad is gonna happen to me because I violated their white rights. Third, third is a turn. This argument like it doesn't make any sense because if we give animal rights, that implies humans cannot eat, use, or do anything that causes potential harm to the animals. If that is true, the world's resources are limited. Eventually, we'll bring negative impacts to the world. And the my, my case basically explains how it, like he stopped animal experimentation, and we need animal experimentation to save more people. And fourth of all, there's four, uh, there's three uh, sub points. There is no direct warrant in this argument. First of all, just because they don't feel pain doesn't automatically mean that we should give them rights. Not a single evidence in my opponent's case argues that if an animal feels pain, we need to give them rights. Do not go for this vague argument. Second of all, there is an alternative that will solve better. Even if animals feel pain, all we have to do is provide them welfare, like such as like a better house or better food or better water. Since giving welfare to animals will directly uh, solve animals from feeling pain, we don't have to give them rights, we just give them welfare. And lastly, again, not on, my, not on the evidence my opponent reads actually says that if we give them rights, we're going to solve for all animal suffering. He just, he just needs to explain how giving animal rights will directly reduce animals from feeling pain. Since he does not do that, his argument is very vague, and you cannot vote him off that. We, we vote him there because it doesn't make any sense on like because of the several reasons that I have read. Uh, uh, like, also, to point out the suffering, uh, he talks about like the failure in like system failure and the monkeys getting killed because they're being cooked. First of all, I want to point out that even if it's a small argument, it's like very like crucial because this is an accident. He doesn't actually have evidence that talk about humans are the one causing these like bad things. He just says that they're in captivity. He doesn't explain how what they do in the captivity. Since he doesn't say anything, I'm just gonna assume that like they're not being like violated because like. Just like like the monkeys just died because of an accident. I'm just gonna point that out. Like this is not a like good argument. Uh, second of all, uh, he says like rabbit. Like history proves that animal testing is not like effective. I just read like seven cards about how uh, about the animal testing is uh, working and what's the reason? So in response to uh, your attack on my first sub-point in my first contention, which talks about how there was an accident uh, in a lab, isn't it the human's fault? They shouldn't have been in a lab where dangers could occur. I mean, it's not the human, like, the humans okay. didn't purposely... Let me, let me rephrase that. Would there be a heating system failure had they not have been taken into the lab? I mean, sure, this is a small argument on the case on the Okay, all right. Um, all right, so then, uh, let's see. Let's move on to your case. Um, you talk about a lot of examples from history and where those uh, where those situations have worked. But I mean, isn't it clear? Like, firstly, isn't it clear that technology has advanced like at, as time? Well, you don't have any evidence that shows how those technologies will solve these. You just say like you're just yes, I do. But I, no, I, you're I, just I, assuming that you're going to solve all these like yeah, bad the Hawkins part and stuff like that. No, but you don't. You don't. You just say that we're going to like prevent diseases. You don't like provide specific diseases that you're going to prevent. Why do I need to? Because if I could just say, oh, okay, I'm just going to prevent every single disease in the future, and I could just win this argument. You have to provide what you're going to do, like how are you going to prevent it, like through a specific. Like, if through animal testing, you're not going to prevent any disease in the future either. Like, no, I just, I just read a bunch of part of testing on animals has helped develop vaccines for many diseases. Like sure, but it's not diseases. every disease in the world. Yeah, but these, these are the main. Like you don't have any evidence that says like animal testing didn't solve these. Yes, I do. That's in subpoint C. Well, what is your what is the name of the card? Is so what diseases didn't be solved? What? I mean, I'm not arguing like animal testing. Yeah, it did, so, it did so, uh, solve the condition with tobacco. It did so, uh, where tobacco was killing millions of people, and uh, through animal testing, they said that it wasn't. Um, no, but is that more than what I mean? I think the millions and millions of people that died from uh, smoking from various types of tobacco every year is a huge impact. Yeah. Well, is it is it the animals' fault that they smoke? Isn't it the human's own fault that they smoke? Sure, but that doesn't mean they, they need to die. Why is this relevant to this video? Because animal testing caused... Well, you're saying that like animal testing made people smoke. No, animal testing didn't tell people... Uh, animal testing said that there weren't any dangers to smoking, which encouraged them. So it's, well, it's the human's fault that they started smoking. Okay, I mean, that doesn't mean they deserve to die. I mean, this isn't relevant because it's their right. own choice. So, so if, if you choose to do something that you don't know is I mean, how is this die, relevant? I mean, like... Our I mean, we'll deal with that in the speech. Um, so then, moving on to uh, 
Moving on to, let's see. Um, uh, so basically, the Hawkins card talks about a lot of alternatives and how they're how basically like there is no need to have a need for animal testing. Uh, like you can still solve AIDS without uh, without. Yeah, any evidence that specifically says it's not solve AIDS because it says that all things that can be solved through animal testing can be solved. Do you have any evidence that specifically says? I can you point to your case where it says? I don't need it. Why don't you need it? Because I, I say that I solve so all. You're saying all, all your your technology is going to solve every single disease in the future. Every single disease that could be solved by animal testing, yes. 